Blending can be a good thing if you do it the right way. Hey Power Director peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love from Power Director University. If you're familiar with blending modes in Photoshop or any photo editor, this is going to be something that you need to see because now you can use blending modes in Power Director. So I'm going to jump off into Power Director 15 and show you how to get it done. A great filmmaker once said, there are no rules in filmmaking, only sins. And the cardinal sin is dullness. If you ever created an overlay of two clips and it was dull and boring as all get out, then blend modes might be something you want to start putting to use. If you've done any photo editing with Photoshop, then you're probably already familiar with blend modes. But if you're not, here's blend mode 101, courtesy of your friendly neighborhood PD professor. That's me if you haven't figured that out by now. Blend modes provide you with multiple options to build on the power of layers in PowerDirector. A blend mode takes the pixels of one clip and blends them with the pixels of another clip to create a completely new clip. This is more than just stacking layers on top of one another and changing the opacity or transparency. The blend between the layers is adjusted based on the blend mode you select. Blend modes can be applied to any video clip or photo in the timeline. So now that you have some knowledge on what blend modes are, let's see some in action. By the way, all of the clips used in this video are royalty free clips from digitaljuice.com. Check them out. Uh, they have lots of great assets for your videos and the link to their site can be found in the video description below. Let's get it cracking. There's two different ways to apply blend modes and there's three different ways to access blend modes. So let's talk about the first way to apply them. If you click on a clip that's in any layer, it doesn't really matter. You can go to tools and then blending effect. Now you can utilize any of the presets that are here or you can download free templates from the director zone to apply these to your clips and then use the blending mode to blend them and add opacity. Now the great thing about these presets or the downloads is that when you apply them it applies what the creator of this blend feels is the best blend mode to apply to the effect. So if I click on analog film, you notice it applies it to my clip and you see that it already chose the blending mode called difference. And it also went ahead and went to what opacity it felt was best, which was 78. So that's really cool. But guess what? You have the ability to change the blend mode if you don't like how it looks. So if I play this back, See, it's applied. It gave me that analog film look. Looks really cool to me. But if you want to, you can choose different ones. And you can't adjust it while it's playing. So you'd have to make your adjustment to the blend mode. And change your opacity and then play it again. So I'm going to leave it on difference. A well, good thing here is that you have the ability to change the opacity. So if you change the opacity, you're changing the opacity of just the actual blend mode on here, which is really cool. It gives you a lot of flexibility with this effect. And if I chose light spots, then it's going to change the blend mode for the one that the creator of this preset 
chose as the best and it'll change the opacity to which one they feel is the best so I'm gonna click on light spots and there you go so if I play this you know I have the beautiful light spots going over this picture so cool way to apply a blend mode to a clip so I'm gonna click on OK so now you see to place the clip beneath it on the timeline with all the applicable settings that I selected. Cool stuff. But now let's say I have two of my own clips that I want to blend. So the first one here, you can see that right now it's just a clip on top of a clip. It's just normal. There's no blend at all. So we have that. And we have this. So if I move this over here, it just is this now the second clip because it's just over the clip that's below it but I want to see them both I want to blend them so there's several ways I could do that the first way is I can right click on the clip that's beneath the top layer and then I can go to set clip attributes and then I can go to set blending mode and I can select a blend mode Now I can do that over and over again until I pick the one that I like best. But the problem with this option and also with the next option I'm going to show you is that you cannot change the opacity of the blend, which kind of stinks. You can change the opacity of the clip, but that starts to make the clip disappear rather than just make the blend mode uh, more opaque. So the second way you can access this is by going to tools, power tools, and you'll see blending mode here. So you see it's already checked because I already applied a blend mode to it. So if I click on blending mode, now I can change the blend mode to something different if I want. So I can change the opacity of this clip if I want to. Say I went to Designer and PIP Designer. I can scroll down under the Properties tab. And then I have Opacity. So I can change the opacity of the clip. And it'll change the look somewhat, but eventually it's just going to disappear because I'm making the clip opaque, not the blend mode. So it's up to you if you want to try to add a little opacity to the clip to change the look. All right, so those are the ways that you access it. There's a lot of great things you can do with the blend modes. A lot of different ways you can apply them. to make different types of looks. It's just a lot of cool stuff, man. If you don't believe me, get in there, try it yourself, cause there's some cool stuff going on with this. Let's do one more real quick, just to give you a different look. You know what, one more, one more. I like it, it's fun. I'm having some fun here. So that's it, peeps. Blend modes. All up in your grill. Oh yeah, almost forgot. If you can guess who that filmmaker quote was from at the beginning of the tutorial, leave it in the comments and you will gain my undying respect. All right, Power Director peeps, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, if you're gonna use blending mode in your videos, tell me how you're gonna use it. Tell me why you're gonna use it. And also go ahead and share with everybody else how it came out. Now, 
If you like the content in this video, do me a favor, click on the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. If you got any questions, tutorial requests, just want to chat with your boy, leave that in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash the subscribe button. When you smash the subscribe button, that means you'll get notifications every time I upload new content to YouTube, and that way you won't be missing out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.